The Go Higher podcast is provided by The High Program at Wayne State University. The High Program, helping individuals go higher. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Go Higher podcast, where we take on the tough and relevant subjects in everyone's lives and provide insight on how to respond, resolve, and re-inspire yourself and those around you. Many students that are attending college are walking into completely new environments for the first time. These students may not know how to find new groups with similar interests or how to engage with others past small talk. This can leave them feeling alone, out of place, and seemingly the only person that feels this way. However, many college students deal with feelings of loneliness and find ways to manage it. Lonely versus alone. First, I want to talk about the difference between being lonely and being alone. When you feel lonely, you may feel sad or disappointed because you are by yourself. You may feel that you're being left out or abandoned. When you're alone, it simply means that you are by yourself and there aren't any emotional attachments to it. Do you feel like you aren't making friends or you're the only person that doesn't have a group to talk to? In 2017, a freshman at Cornell created a viral video about having a hard time making friends at her university. She originally created it for a class project, but the video now has over 360,000 views on YouTube. Emily Bergman didn't feel like she was making friends as quickly as she had planned for herself, and she felt that she always saw other students walking in groups and talking to each other, something that she wasn't doing. Emory's story is like that of many other students who struggle with new friendships in college, and you may feel the same way. You may feel that your routine consists of going to class, going to work, eating, doing homework, sleeping, and repeating it all the next day while you see other students planning parties, dinners, or nights out. You do want to hang out with friends too, but you just don't know how to strike up a conversation, get past small talk, or ask someone to lunch. All of this can lead to feelings of loneliness. You may feel like you're the only one experiencing this, but according to the New York Times, nearly a quarter of all undergraduate students at Yale registered for a course that focused on leading a happier life, which included information on making social connections. This means that you are not the only one to feel the way that you do. Emery's viral video is evidence of this as well. She even had other universities reach out to her and ask about showing the video to the freshman class. Deborah J. Cohen, PhD, a psychologist professor, says that it is important to realize that thoughts and feelings of loneliness are typical and normal because the college transition can be stressful. How can you manage feelings of loneliness and engage with others more? Now I want to discuss some ways that you can manage feelings of loneliness and involve yourself in activities that can form new connections. To manage feelings of loneliness, one, use the services that the school may offer. The Writing Center, Tutorial Services, Mental Health Counseling Services, LGBTQ Center, Ethnic Centers. Two, this is important. Don't compare your experience with that of old friends that you may see on social media. Social media is a highlight reel of the best pieces of people's lives. It's not the whole picture. Activities that lead to new connections. One, if you're living in a dorm, keep your dorm door open so people can say hi or hang out. Two, spend as much time as you can outside of your room. Study in a community space or around campus. Three, find study groups. Four, go to the gym. You'll feel better. Find out if your recreation center holds classes or simply use the equipment that they have. You may find a gym buddy. Five, find events around campus that interest you and go. A, you can join the organization, volunteer to help, or just go for the free food. B, 
trying to set goals like going to at least one event every month. Six, I know anxiety can lead to feelings of loneliness, so I also want to mention ways to help with that. A, take small steps when trying something new. Research an event or organization on campus. If you don't go to the particular event, commit to going to the next one. Smile at people if you feel you can't strike up a conversation. Safety tip of the day. Be careful when using rideshare services like Lyft or Uber. Some people may pose as drivers for these companies and have malicious intent. To stay safe, stay inside a building while you're waiting on your ride to come. Look at the make, model, color, and license plate of the car, as well as the photo of the driver to ensure that they match up. Finally, before you get in the car, ask the driver who they are picking up. Using these tips can prevent you from getting into a potentially dangerous situation. College can be difficult, but for some students, financial issues can make things impossible. The HIGH program at Wayne State University provides critical funds to students who are having major issues with basic needs like tuition, books, housing, and food. It's amazing, but just a few hundred dollars at the right time can save a student from dropping out or from being homeless. Students should not have to decide between basic life needs and finishing their education. The HIGH program has connected hundreds of students with these basic needs and provided a light at the end of the tunnel for what amounts to the most difficult period of their young lives. If you would like to help, donations of any amount are welcome, and you can find all our information on highprogram.wayne.edu or at WSU High Program.